Uh, so for Jiri, obviously we're here, final game of the season on Saturday, away to Macclesfield. And I suppose off the back of a win for the boys last weekend against Maidenhead, confidence is higher. Yeah, no, it was a good win on Saturday. It was a tough game. Um, glad we were able to get the three points. Um, obviously with results on Tuesday, it means you can't get in the playoffs, but still want to put in a good performance in the last game and go out on a high. Of course, obviously disappointing, as you said, they're seeing the playoff dream end in midweek, but what it does kind of give you is it takes the pressure off and you can go out and play with a bit of freedom on Saturday. Yeah, no, exactly. Obviously, um, now that the playoffs is done, we can just go out and just play our game, enjoy it, enjoy the occasion. Obviously, Maxwell will be celebrating their win, so we just got to go there and put our best foot forward and have a good game. She said that obviously Macclesfield already won the title and we're given that after the game on Saturday, so that's kind of almost the team talk done for you guys already, isn't it? It kind of being the case of being the party spoilers come Saturday. Yeah, literally, obviously, well done to them and on a good season and getting promoted, but we just want to get three points as well to, for ourselves and end the season more. I suppose if there is a victory for Dagenham on Saturday, it would just continue that great form uh, that, that's been seen over the last few weeks and it would be fantastic for the team to end what's been a difficult campaign by and large uh, on a bit of a high as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think the results um, over the last couple of months have obviously lifted the mood around the club with everything that's going on. So it would be nice to just finish that um, with a win on Saturday and go into the summer on a, on a good note. And talking of good form yourself as well, kind of in the second half of the season, really kicked on, obviously named uh, third player in the Player of the Season awards as well. I mean, yeah, just kind of talk us through really about January and kind of yourself and, and kind of how it's just gone so right for you in the second half of the season. Yeah, um, can't really put it down to one thing really. It's just um, it's, it's the second half of the season has it's, it's, um, gone really well. Obviously for the team as well, we've picked up the results as well, so that, that always helps. And... Um, yeah, I was, was happy to, to get voted for a young player and <clears throat> third place in player of the year, so now I'm pleased with how the season has gone. In terms of just, you know, on the whole there for the season, obviously kind of started in the, in the starting eleven and then dropped out, unfortunately, for yourself as well. It kind of must have been when you did drop out the starting eleven just before, kind of around Christmas time, I think it was, wasn't it, that yourself, not really used to that position, that had kind of started every, you know, pretty much every game that you were fit for for Dagenham. So what was that kind of like? Obviously, I had a bit of an injury, <coughs> so that was holding me back and then I had some time off to, to get the injury right and um, obviously when I, it was just a case of once I got back fit really just just playing how I know I can and, and um, I've been able to do that so now I was pleased. And in the early part of the season obviously you had a good relationship with Morgan Ferrier carrying on from last year, you had a, a good relationship with Corey Wrightley as well, obviously both of those players left so for yourself in terms of kind of trying to strike up new partnerships what was that like? Um, yeah, obviously that was part of it, but obviously all the lads have been training together all season. Um, we all know how each other play in the system and stuff, so um, when we're out there we just got to work our relationship as best we can and I think we've we've all pulled together as a team really, like um, different players have come in and, and played and I think we've all joined well really together, so that's been a big part of why we've been doing well towards the second half of the season. Of course now for yourself as well, we're talking about the final game for Dagenham on Saturday, but yourself you've got a few more games to look forward to, obviously England Sea call up again and looking yeah. to continue your good form for that team. Yeah, no, um, obviously got the game in um, Ireland and it'd be nice to finish the season after the season ends with a, another good game, so now it's always good to be called up and hopefully it can do well when I go there again. And they're joined by a couple of teammates in uh, Charlie Adams and Luke Pennell as well this time, so obviously those boys and yourself uh, all recognised for what's been a good season so far. Yeah, exactly. We played with Charlie last time in the last game and, and obviously we've done, but both done well to get called up again and Penn's coming in for the first time, I'm sure he'll do well and, and it's good to have three of us representing the team, so yeah, it's always a positive. Of course, Pajiri, thanks for your time as always and uh, best of luck at Macclesfield on Saturday. Cheers.